Well, good morning, everyone. It's Lori, the frugal mom. It is about 10 o'clock on, let's see, it is Thursday, July 18th. Yes. <laughs> and I am up bright and early this morning to make some chicken bone broth. So it's very easy if you do it in your Instapot. This is a 10 quart, but if you have a smaller one, you can do it in that as well. This is a six pound little oven stuffer that I got from the food pantry the other day. I thought it out, I unwrapped it, I thoroughly rinsed it, and I took out the giblets if you want. If you've got animals, you can make those giblets for your animals. Uh, that's pretty much all I'll do with it. You can stick them in the freezer to use for giblet gravy another time. That's also a good use for it. So all I did after I washed it is I put it into my Instapot and I've got, well, these are small dried bay leaves. So I put about six of them in here just for a good flavor. And you can use carrot scraps, any kind of vegetable scraps. I happen to have a bag of baby carrots that was going south. So none of them were bad or moldy or anything. They just are past their, their peak of freshness. So I put about half of a pound in there and you want to put your garlic, which again, like these are a little bit past their brine, but there's no mold. Um, I, you want to put your garlic and your onion in there with the wrap on, the skin rather, not the wrap. I'm so silly. So I did one large onion and a large head of head. Yeah, I guess that's what it's called, right guys? <laughs> head, head of um, garlic in there. And then I did three stalks of celery that I washed off. You could leave the leaves on if you wanted to, but these were looking a little nasty, so I, I chopped them off. And then you're gonna put, to 10 quarts, I would do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, or you could also do lemon juice if you don't have that. Um, you wanna put maybe about a tablespoon of some kosher salt or some sea salt in there, and then um, a good generous dose of um, peppercorns. So you just add water till you get up to your, I don't know if you can see it, to your max line and uh, you're just going to cook this on high pressure for three hours and then you're going to let it do either a natural release which is what I prefer for about 15 minutes and then you're going to strain all of this stuff out of there you're going to take the bigger pieces out first meaning your chicken you're going to set it aside on a platter you're going to take your big vegetables out and you're just going to discard them unless you like to eat them and um, that's my son in the background and then you're gonna like triple strain this to get all the bone chunks and whatnot out. And it's gonna make the most delicious, nutritious, very affordable for pennies a quart, really, bone broth. And with this chicken, I'm gonna make some burrito bowls. And I think I've shown you that before. If not, I'll show you later. I will show you what this looks like when it's done. I will talk to you all, guys all later. Please like, share, and